Well, one event uh, downtown was uh, postponed due to COVID and it's uh, ready to start up again. And joining me now is uh, Mandy Prevo to talk about Cornwall Art Walk. Welcome to the show. Hey guys, thanks for having me, Bill. So Mandy, before we talk about uh, the startup uh, this Friday, just give our viewers a little history of what is Cornwall Art Walk. Yeah, so Cornwall Art Walk is in its third year. Um, so basically we have artists set up in our downtown um, to help um, promote the artists and help artists showcase, as well as to keep people um, downtown to stop into the shops and take advantage of all the wonderful things our downtown has to offer. So uh, our downtown has a lot to offer uh, lately with, uh, you know, the pop-up patios, the, the, uh, the nice uh, containers that were down there and decorated. Uh, so what can people expect as they, they walk downtown? Well, they can expect the sound of music playing from Pommier Square, um, as well as um, different visual artists set up throughout Pitt Street, um, down to up to the library on 2nd and around the corner on 1st Street. Um, so there'll be different uh, visual artists li showcasing live, um, doing some live painting or some live drawing, things like that. We also have Baldwin House um, participating this Friday, and they're going to be selling masks. Um, we try, we're hoping to have a few interactive community um, spots where the public can come and interact with some artwork as well. Okay, so who is Cornell Art Walk? Is it a, just a group of artists that uh, got together and decided to do this or is it, uh, is it some type, I, I'm not sure who, who they are. Yeah, so Cornwall Art Walk was founded by, um, started by a few of the local artists. Um, and then, um, but we are covered under your arts council. Okay. So they're the ones who are powering, powering the event. Um, we also have huge support from Cornwall Tourism and the Cornwall Tourism Development Fund as well. Okay, so your arts council, that's, that's what I thought, but I couldn't think of the name. Now, um, so uh, it, it starts back up on Friday. So it's, it's every, is it every Friday or one no. Friday a month? Yeah, it's the last Friday of every month and it runs from four to eight. Um, so come on down and uh, take in the arts. So uh, tell me uh, just briefly, how can, what, what can people see when they go down there again on, and it started this Friday? Yeah, so people will be able to see um, visual artists doing live demonstrations of their art. So whether they're painting or drawing, etc., and there'll be musicians playing at Pommier Square. Um, so come and take in the sounds. Um, there will be um, a chalk wall. So there'll be a photo opportunity for the public to come and take some photos, some fun interactive photos with a chalk wall. Um, we also have a photographer, um, Lee Latticer, will be taking part with his studio. A few of the art studios are taking part. Um, and some of the businesses like Crush Lane and the Happy Popcorn Company, um, Birchwood Cafe, Tilly's, they're all staying open for the event as well. That's a wonderful initiative and uh, great for our community and great for people to, uh, you know, uh, go downtown and uh, check out what's going on because it's uh, very, very vibrant these days. So thank you, Mandy, for being with us today and good luck on Friday. Thanks so much for having me. Have a great day.